Hello, all my nerd friends out there. This is Mr. Chill here. And I want to talk to you guys about Boruto Chapter 74. And sorry I didn't do a review when it came out yesterday. But, you know, I wasn't really hyped about this chapter. I heard some spoilers about it. And I'll tell you why I wasn't hyped, you know. The the point of this, it feels so much childish. It doesn't feel serious no more, you know. Definitely with the fight we uh, we got between Damien and Kawaki and um, Boruto. We got the fight between them. It feels all child's play. You know, Damien is the big baddie right now. He's the main villain. And he being the main villain, that's what it feels like. He's the main villain. He beat Cold at his full power. Uh, probably Cold to get stronger. Who knows? And Cold doesn't even feel intimidating. You got Ada here that wants just to be with Kawaki. Just wants a relationship. Doesn't want to conquer. Not feeling villainous. And we got Damon, that's basically her protector. He follows Ada wherever she goes. That's what he wants. He wants to be around Ada forever. Um, just there's no big villain. This is this doesn't feel a threat in this world. Like we know we got Cole doing his own thing uh, with the ten tails and all, but just Damon being this strong and doing all this. I wish he was more intimidating. You no, know, I wish he was a better character in a way. Like he feels pretty cool as a child. Like he's a child, maybe. Uh, if he was a main villain, maybe he'll get stronger, or maybe the goal, like, if the more order he gets, more stronger he'll be, or something like that, like, the, the whole goal is stop Damon to become more stronger, so maybe that's a, part of the story, or do something, uh, but if he, it'd probably feel more better if he was the older brother to, um, uh, Ada, make it bigger, taller, more intimidating looking, uh, more threat looking, it'll be more cooler to see, or read, or, See this guy uh, messing everyone up. Like, uh, kind of you know how like a uh, dragon monster. You know, you, when we got introduced to Android seventeen and eighteen, they look innocent. They don't look intimidating threat. But when we saw Android sixteen behind them, kind of like the big three of the villains right there, little villain. Uh, sixteen uh, looked like the intimidating time. He he was the strongest out of those two. He was. He could have killed Cell if he can. Um, so he felt that felt that role. Like, whoa, we gotta watch out for these three. Kind of like. That's why I wish there will be a cool duo right there. Damien was a little more older, except for being like a holding, uh, Ada holding him, cutting with him. Uh, just, it doesn't feel right. And this is how this story is. Let's get more into it. Like Damien and uh, Ada arrive finally to the village. Um, Sugar Mile is very cool. He, she didn't get phased by Ada's power, about affection. Like everyone falls in love with her. Everyone around her sigh. Uh, Kamaru, all the other ninjas just started falling in love with this girl right away. Um, but it's um, Ada and Damon basically take off their only fly away. It's pretty cool. We learned something. I, I just thought of it right now. It's like, not to me, ninjas can't fly. I'm, uh, I never think I saw Boruto, I mean, not Naruto, Naruto and Sasuke fly. And yeah, I never saw them. He said, yeah, soon Kawaki um, and uh they, uh, Kawaki and Boruto will be start flying since they're Suski. Mostly a Suski members fly. And that's true. I've seen a lot of Suski members fly. Um, and so they basically go meet each other. I'm, like I said, there's nothing really big to talk about. You see Damon, Nada, find me, Kawaki, and Boruto in our house. Uh, the only thing I found interesting, looks like Kawaki could see Mobushiki behind Boruto. Like when for some reason he could see him, like maybe that instant he saw Boruto, he saw him talking to Boruto Mobushiki and Kawaki was able to see that. Like, that's pretty crazy. Like, whoa. Um, so, Buru um, Kawaki could see uh, the Suski and other people, maybe. That's pretty interesting. He could see Mobushiki or is Mobushiki just creeping behind Boruto this whole time. He could see him creeping around. That's pretty interesting. There, I hope there's more details about that. But it's like, there's nothing big right here. They're all getting ready for the mission. Um, that's, that's what sucks. If this wasn't monthly... Um, it'll probably be still cool, better. Like we have to wait each month to get more details. Like last month, we took two months for her to get here to meet Kawaki finally. Two months, <laughs> and we finally get the meet up. And uh, Damon kicks Kawaki and Boruto's ass. Basically, that's it. Um, just show him, hey, you you know you can't beat me. I'm the strongest here. I could kick everyone's ass and all that stuff. And that. Basically, that's it. And she hold Kawaki on her um, when he was knocked out. Uh, Ada and Kawaki put Kawaki on left. It's nothing really. You know, Kawaki's going to play the tough guy act. You know, it's going to play hard to get for Ada. And uh, who knows if they're going to end up together. It's like, do we, 
uh, I, I love relationship too. I kind of hope they do end up together somehow. But then that if they end up together, why they'll fight? Like, what's the big deal about all this? When what are they gonna fight? And I don't know. Just it doesn't feel to me. This all feels filler to me in a way, a little bit. It doesn't feel such a great story. Like I wish there was a bigger threat. Maybe there's a bigger threat outside, except for Cold. Cold doesn't feel like the best villain in here. Um, it's just that's what's bugging me about this. I don't know what's bugging you guys. We just don't got a great villain in here. And a lot of showing to do. Like all the Suskis we fought, Momushiki, uh, Momushiki, um, and I keep forgetting the other one that Kawaki run with. Um, him, uh, then uh, all the car group, all that. That's all even Naruto's uh, stories. Look at all the big feeling, Ruchimaru, the Koskis, um. We got Madara, Obito, all these crazy villains that made it story more interesting. To me, that's what makes a great story to read. Definitely an action showing like this is supposed to be action showing um, is a great villain. If you look through all the other showings, Black Clover, so far they had a lot of great villains in there. My Hero Academia, uh, All for One. Um, freaking, then you got um, Dragon Ball Z, Frieza, Cell. A lot of big threats, a lot of villains. Like this is. So far, I'm feeling like kind of kiddish, you know. I know you want to add a little romance. That's okay. Jokiness, that's okay too. But where's the big threat? Where is it? I can't see Cole. If you tell me Cole's the big threat, he doesn't feel like he's a big threat. It doesn't feel like it feels like Kawaki and Naruto, I mean, Kawaki and Boruto beat him. Like, just give me a good train arc and that's it. We're done. <laughs> he doesn't feel that strong. Or maybe Damien and them three could team up if Ada and Kawaki fall in love. You know, like, oh, okay, they fall in love. Hey, Damien, uh, team up with us and go jump Kawaki, um, go jump cold. That's it. Uh, end of the story. It's the whole Boruto ends, you know. I don't know what the time jump's gonna look like. Um, I can't wait for the time jump. May it will be better the next season, but like, that's when Naruto went to the time jump to Shippuden. Uh, if we had a lot of threats still out there, Uruchimaru got done killing the third Hokage, Sasuke left the village, um, and he went to go train with uh, Uruchimaru, so we had that big old mystery. Uh, we got um, uh, the Koski still out there. We had a lot of mysteries and big threats that was bowling up. When this goes to time jump, well, would Code generate his army from the Tentails? That's it. Like I said, I can't see Code. He doesn't have a good design, I guess. I guess he doesn't look intimidating. He doesn't look, oh my god, can't wait till he throw down. No, he doesn't. When we saw Madara make his entrance and uh, just body all the ninjas in that fourth grade ninja, uh, ninja war, dude, that was a beast. That was awesome. Like, I guess I can see a hype moment. Like, even uh, uh, we saw that Suski with Naruto and Sasuke team up in here. I keep forgetting the name, the leader of the car. Dude, he's gonna bug me. But even when Mobushiki pe popped in for the movie, he felt like that intimidating. He seen that power in him just showing, like, he beat, uh, I think he fought Sasuke in the beginning of the movie, did he? I, I'm trying to remember, like, he, he showed some uh, movements and some fights that made him more intimidating. Even his bodyguard looked pretty cool. That's the design. I guess that's what's bugging me, the design of these characters. Uh, they're supposed to be the villains are not that great in my book. And it's monthly, and the story's, like, feeling so slow. Just because let's move on with this. Fall in love, Kawaki Nade. Let's get going. Let's get some action. I, I want some action too. Like, how, what's and we're getting a little taste in action like this, like like that. For, for instance, Damon and um, uh, Kawaki and Boruto. That was a little action, but not nothing special. Like I said, it felt like child's play. Same thing with Cold and Damon when he fought. It was like a little child's play. It was embarrassment to see that our main villain of the story being what he is um it just i wish we had more shuskis coming down from space or some shit i wish we had more villains I wish something big happens i guess something huge you know nothing feels like something big happened bro it doesn't uh maybe um the only thing big so far happened in the story that naruto lost his ten tails that's it lost his power and nah, nah, maybe i wish kawaki would turn evil maybe that will juice something up so we saw that ending of Boruto. That's what we're all waiting for. Kawaki and Boruto face each other. I wish he maybe he kills Cold and takes his position. Generates the army. Ada and Damien team up with Cold. That will spice some up. Like, whoa, like Kawaki does something big. Um, like he finds the uh, Suski and him takes over. Um, uh, he becomes evil, Kawaki, and boom. We got Ada and you no know, Ada loves her. You got Ada being her her right 
white woman. Um, Damon being his uh, soldier, following Damon, made he, he match power and all that shit. That would be dope. You know, that would be cool. That would be something that would be interesting to take out, um, Code out. Um, and he runs the Ten Tails now. Like, dude, and that would be sick. You know, get ready. I'm hype. That would be cool. Time jump. Do something big like that. I would be down with that. Those big three powerful characters, that would be cool. I would love to read something like that. Let me know. Comment below what you think of that idea. Somehow Kawaki and Ada and Damon team up, be like the new villains, the big three villains. Maybe they run their own group. Maybe they take Code's position out, take him out, and take over the Ten Tails, have that big old army, do another big ninja war. Ooh, that would hype it up for the time jump. But I don't feel hype right here. If they do like a time jump right now, there's nothing to be hyped about. Code's gaining his army. That's it. That's He doesn't feel like a villain. Kawaki feels like an intimidating villain. Definitely when he turns all of Suski or go do some changes. That would be dope. With Ada by her side, with it by her side, and Damon that rocks with Ada, that will be sick. That will be, that'll be powerful. Like, I don't know what we're borrowed to do. Someone has to be getting stronger with him to rock with him. Maybe they'll do more with Sada and um, uh, Miski. Yeah, Miski. Do more with those characters. That will be cool. We'll see. But I hope Borrowed to gets better. It's getting really slow and boring. Uh, does feel too exciting. Does it feel too threatening out there? But like I said, comment below what you think of Broto's chapter 74. What you like it about it? What you hate about it? Uh, do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Comment below. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts. But thank you all for watching my videos. Please subscribe. Hit that like button. I appreciate everyone's support. And thank you all for watching again. I hope you all have a good day and good night. Remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.